So in the last lecture, we looked at the absorption of solar radiation by gases. We're now going to look at the scattering of solar radiation by gases using the exact same uh, format that we had before. And so in this case, the incremental change in the scattering is equal to minus uh, df uh, over f is going to be, in this case, is going to be equal to minus k times a times the secant phi dz. And where k is a scattering area coefficient, and it's a dimensionless parameter, uh, it's going to be quite complex uh, to explain. We're going to have our own lecture on how to calculate k. And then a is the total effective cross-sectional area uh, of all the scatterers in a given volume. And then secant phi dz, of course, is our path length. Um, so the radiation comes in, it's scattered by gases or particles in this case. Uh, and it reduces the amount of radiation that's coming out the bottom. Uh, if we want to get the total amount of uh, scattering, we have to integrate this equation in the exact same way that we did for the absorptivity. Uh, we get the natural log of the irradiance is equal to minus secant phi uh, times the integral of KADZ. And like in an analogous manner, we're going to define this as the optical depth. In this case, it will be the optical depth due to scattering. Uh, and then we can uh, evaluate this integral like we did last time, and you'll get that the irradiance at some height is equal to the irradiance at the top of the atmosphere times the exponent of minus the optical depth of uh, due to scattering. And that raises an interesting point. Uh, this, of course, is Beer's law. Uh, but we had uh, an optical depth due to absorption by gases. Now we have an optical depth due to scattering by gases. Uh, the optical, the total optical depth of the atmosphere is equal to the optical depth due to the absorption by gases plus the optical depth uh, due to the absorption by particles plus the optical depth due to scattering by gases plus the optical depth due to scattering by particles. And you can put this together in the Beer's Law um, in that the F of uh, lambda at some height is equal to the solar constant times the exponent of minus the optical depth of the total atmosphere. And so we have a functional form of the Beer's Law that includes all of these individual components. And the topic of the next lecture is what are we going to do about calculating K, which is this dimensionless scattering area coefficient uh, for particles and gases.